Appointing someone as a power of attorney is one of the most important decisions you can make because effectively you're giving them control of your affairs. If you get it wrong, it can have significant and disastrous consequences. I'm here to discuss this issue further with Dane Johnson, a lawyer specialising in the field. Thanks for joining me, Dane. No problem. So, Dane, to start with, what is a power of attorney? Well, a power of attorney is a document that essentially gives another person or other people the right to carry on your business and financial affairs. It can be general uh, or it can be for a specific purpose, such as uh, the sale of a particular property. And the power of attorney uh, can be made enduring, which means it can still be used even if the person who gave it loses their mental capacity. Why would a client want or need a power of attorney? Well, typically a client will inquire about a power of attorney or will raise the issue with them because they're planning for their future uh, as part of their estate planning. Or they may have felt that they uh, do need more assistance as time's gone on with the management of their affairs. So who's, who's generally appointed as the attorney in these situations? Well, family is probably the first port of call. Uh, then people may look to their friends, sometimes their business associates, depending on the purpose. Uh, but they also might decide uh, to involve a professional advisor who agrees to act, such as an accountant or a lawyer or a trustee company. These are often perceived to be an independent third party. And although the law is quite specific about the obligations and limitations on attorneys, it's crucial that the person who is chosen is trusted implicitly. Now, Dana, I imagine there are circumstances where someone's been appointed as an attorney and they haven't actually acted appropriately. What happens in those circumstances? Well, the first course of action is for the person who gave the power of attorney to revoke it, if they still have mental capacity to do that. Now, there may be other formalities involved with that. Each state also has a body which can be approached to make orders in respect to powers of attorney. What happens if the horse is already bolted and the attorney has taken financial advantage of someone? What, what happens in that situation? Well, the person who gave it, or um, if they've lost capacity, someone on their behalf, should seek urgent legal advice. Uh, there may be, uh, apart from revoking the power of attorney, uh, there are obviously other avenues, uh, approaching the body that oversees powers of attorney, approaching the police, or taking uh, civil action through the courts in respect of uh, the abuse of the power. Thanks for your time, Dane. It's been a fascinating insight into some of the issues that you really need to consider when looking to appoint someone as a power of attorney. If you have any questions in relation to this issue, certainly don't hesitate to contact us.